drawn to accusations captured in media that I'm in possession of land titles belonging to Jivanji and Pangani affordable housing uh, projects. Well, I recommend that uh, the Nairobi City County Assembly for bringing this matter up through the Lands and Urban Planning Committee. I would like from the onset to state the facts in regard to the two projects that were dear to my heart when I was serving as the second governor of this great city. It is important to note that the affordable housing projects in Nairobi was brainstormed and planned during the tenure of uh, the former governor, my good friend Evan Skidero, uh, who served as the first governor of Nairobi. It is during this time that the county government and the national government started collaborating on ways to revamp the seven old estates in Nairobi. This was to be done through a public-private partnership with the county providing land and the investors allowed to charge an agreed percentage on the property to make their profit. I want to bring to your attention that the leases, these titles for both Jivanji and Pangani were processed in 2018 during my time as governor. Check note that there was no meaningful progress in terms of development that happened during the previous administration before I took over, until when I took over. Indeed, under my tenure, we first struck the development by diligently negotiating an exit agreement between the county government and the tenants in respective estates with Jivanji and Pangani being one of them. We must acknowledge the fact that most tenants were all people and all families who had spent decades of struggle living in the estates. We therefore agreed to, to give every tenant a sum of Kenyan shilling 600,000 as a facilitation fee applicable for two years for them to find alternative accommodation within the city as they awaited the completion of the projects. Further, take note that being a people's governor by then, I was never going to allow forceful evictions or transfer of people without a clear plan. We had to ensure that the registered tenants are given priority once the houses are complete. This was eventually agreed and signed up between the county, the asset associations, and the respective uh, developers or other investors. We started the G1G project with a plan to put up 1,830 units, while Pangani was to give, or rather have, 1,562 housing units. The investors uh, had to pump uh, around three to four billion, as stated earlier. This was public-private partnership. I wish to state, it is my belief that Nairobi City County Government and the Oversight Committee in charge of this matter must discern enough to know that the Ministry of Lands Registry are normally the custodian of the records. If they take time, they realize uh, the leases uh, were processed in the year 2018. It is officially captured. For instance, Jivanji, it is captured under the special uh, purpose vehicle that was used, that is Nairobi Bachelors Jivanji, Estate Limited, which is a private limited company inco incorporated under the Companies Act, and also uh, the certificates uh, of transfer of lease that was signed in June, July 2019, and witnessed by the Nairobi City County Government, and uh, the joint registration of the uh, special purpose vehicles. These uh, joint ventures agreement were drafted and prepared uh, before I took over as governor. As was just, uh, ours was just an uh, implementation of the project. It is my humble submission that there is a grand plan by senior staff, politicians, and cartels 
who want to be allocated houses without following the due process. Whatever has been circulating, or whatever came up from the county assembly and the county government of Nairobi, I believe these were just diversionary tactics to divert the real issues. Because the other day I saw from Citizen TV that investors who had purchased these houses were complaining that despite them uh, investing millions, they are yet to be allocated with these houses, meaning the projects have stalled. It is well documented that during my tenure, uh, the county had a seamless and good working relationship with the national government in executing the affordable housing project in Nairobi. A good, a good example is the 1,370 affordable housing units in Park Road, Ngara project. It is the first affordable housing project of the Kenya government to improve people's livelihood and the first project of the affordable housing plan of the Big Four agenda by that time by the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta. It is here that our legendary athlete, athlete uh, Mkimbiaji, Faith Kibiegon, who was gifted a spacious house by the current president. I therefore call upon the governor, uh, Johnson Sakaja, the Nairobi City County government, to focus on provision of providing necessary support to ensure the projects are complete without much drama na siasa. Because this is your master vipindi, master vipindre. This is the issue of vipindi. So easy is how I think they are trying to divert attention. Come and say my citizen will highlight investors wakileta shida. Now I was there yesterday kwa easy project. Pangani water, both the investors I can say they've done a good job. Uh, Pangani is over 12 floors. Jibanji pay meenda. Now, I want to Rudi Nyuma Kidogo. The, under the um, joint venture agreements which were there, the county was to provide land. Our contribution in the county was the land. Investors was coming with their billions. Then they, 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 they do a joint registration of the uh, uh, the properties. So, what I did to clear my name, I wrote a letter to the land reg registrar that was uh, yesterday, demanding to know the current status of both the Pangani title deed and the uh, Jivanji. So I did a letter to the land registrar dated yesterday, 23rd October 2014, which was received yesterday and stamped at the land office. The land registrar uh, Jivanji is LR number 209 stroke 5458 and the IR is there. Then Pangani is Nairobi block 4474. These letters were received. I paid via eCitizen through my Mpesa. A receipt from Al-Sasa was issued. I was glad and I want to compliment the CS Ministry of Lands, the PS, uh, Mr. Nixon Kurir for what they have done, because I only spent less than 20 minutes and I was furnished with all the documents. So I wonder why the MCS and the county government uh, senior officials, including the uh, CECs, if I was a governor in 20, okay, 17, I was impeached in 2020. So three years down the line, now we're in 2023. You mean they didn't realize that the title was missing? The custodian of these records is the CEC, Lance, and the chief officer, uh, county chief officers. Since 2020, how the owner at the titles has it ni kipindi ya hali ya juu na na condemn mambo ya koribiana majina. Let me go to the records which were furnished to me by the Ministry of Lands. We have the official search, but first I'll go to the the leases. We officially, I pushed for these documents to be registered in the name of the Nairobi City County Government. On 16th July 2018, this is the green card, because the Pangani is under a block, not under, uh, 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 Pangani is under Cap 300. 
and Jivangia uh, uh, things are like up to 81 if I'm not wrong. So the list for Pangani, the, we have certified copies of the green card, 16th, July 2018, Nairobi City County became the owner from the national government. And then Liz was registered on the 20th, September 2018, under a special purpose vehicle going by the name of Nairobi Pangani Estate Limited. It was a joint registration between the Nairobi City County and the investor of Pangani in 2018. And the projects started. This is the list. This was my county secretary by then, Peter Kariuki. This is the land registrar. So the property was officially transferred to the county in 2018. This is Pangani. You go to Jivanji, the same thing, this is the lease. This is my county secretary. To make the matters worse, this is S.G. Mwangi, who was the chief officer by then, and the custodian of these titles. So we got our list for Jivanji on 2nd August 2018. Single name of Nairobi City County for the both properties. So in 2019, the special purpose vehicle for Pangani was registered jointly between the land, um, I mean between the county government of Nairobi as the owners of the land and the investor. This was booked uh, on July 25th, 2019. It was registered. My county secretary by then was Pauline Kahiga. The chief officer is the same guy who is now the CEC lands, S.G. Mwangi. And he also, I think his name is appearing in the, on the transfer, yes. Chief officer lands, he ex in fact he executed on behalf of Nairobi County and the County Secretary. And then the developer, or rather the investor, Abdul Qadir Ahmed, executed also. So this was a joint ownership between the investor and the county government of Nairobi. The same also for Jivanji and uh, I mean for Pangani, same process was followed in the, in the instance of time, I'll not go to the documentation, but I was furnished with the documents by the last office. Now, to make the matters worse, this same SG Mwangi, who was the SG, by, who was the, the chief officer by then, equivalent to a PS in the national government, is the accounting officer. He's the one who took the title deed. This application for registration, on 25th July 2019, the title was received by SG Mwangi, who has been the custodian of this title for all these years. So I'll furnish you with all these documents so that Mutuasio Kimbishe continue. Now, I also realized uh, the county government recently, uh, like uh, one year ago, around the 19th of April, they passed a resolution on the floor of the house to allow the investor to use the title to go and charge so that they can get funds. This was passed around uh, 19th, April 2023. I got it from the county assembly website. It was moved by the Honorable Peter Imwatok, who is the majority leader, and seconded by my good friend, Anthony Kiragu, who is the minority leader. Now, I think there is something wrong, and I want to tell Governor Sakaja. I think you are CECs or your cabinet, they need to go for refresher courses or ref ref refresher classes or induction classes. And I don't mind when Isaac Waleta happened to Fundishe, Apa Vile, Sheria Ya Mashamba Inafanywa. Because Mulifanya inventory, when you took over, yeah. You should know the kind of properties the county 
government owns, you should have asked for all these title deeds instead of playing politics with my name. That is what we normally do. Because when I, was, when I took over from Kidero, I got all these documents. I was in a position to, to identify these are the county properties, these are not the county properties. So I want to challenge Nini Cabinet to want to Governor, so that we can find Nairobi Kazi, whether I'm in office or not. In the project of Manili Anzisha, and I'll follow it to the Mpaka Musho. Now, after this resolution was passed, and after I wrote to the land's office, I'm not the originator of these documents. They were furnished by the Ministry of Lands. Mda kuna mbia, akuna MCA. Wakati chato li mepotea angeenda tu hapa Arithi House, kufanya search. Tujua where is the title. Or any minister from the county to go and conduct a search, who do a Mahali's document Zico. But I'm going to sanko ni muizi, do a Mahali's document. I want to prove you wrong and shame on you all of you. This is the official search. You guys went and charged the property. Ile manasema sanko ameiba. The title is with the National Bank of Kenya. You charged it for 1.9 billion Kenya shillings. The charge was registered on 29th May 2023. Was Sonko the governor during this time? This was three years after my impeachment. So stop misleading Kenyans. Do your work. Complete the projects. Stop letting the governor down. Shame on you all of you. And if you don't apologize, but this is how people work. So stop tarnishing my good name, and I'll, even if I'm a nobody, I'll do a thorough follow up and ensure while I'm a skinny, kina freedom fighters, mzee kahengeri na wengine, while I'm paying kila mtu 600,000, to our promise, phase one, they'll own those houses. I will ensure they own those houses. I know mna taka kujipatia manyuma na mabibizenu. That one will never happen. But I still have got the political muscles of fighting on behalf of the, 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 the poor. So, chance ya kudhulumu wanyonge wananchi walifanya demonstration wantaka nyumba zao deal with the real issues. So many projects it was told tunajua there was COVID. Yeah? Kenyans will understand. Instead of tarnishing my good name. I'll never allow that to happen. Kwa hivyo title did wa Kenya Equal National Bank of Kenya, the investor and the county, under the joint registration of the special pup, uh, uh, purpose vehicle, that is Bachelors Jivanji Estate, Tatu Lilipelekwa National Bank, Ikachajiwa, as per the land registrar's uh, search, now Kachikwa, 1.9 billion Kenya shillings from last year, May 2023. So, Mugona investors. Mugona pesa ya tenants, na mugona pesa ya national bank. Finish the project. Penu wa Kenya manyumba zao, wachene kutumia jina sonko. Kwa ni sonko mafanya nini? Ni malala na bibi ya mtu, hapa county. Tuwa ni majina angu kwa mdomo enu. Shame on you again. So that is what I wish to state for now. Yes, it was received, and I'm, give, I'm furnishing with all these documents. The daily, the daily 